Our oceans are not only filled with fascinating animal species, but some incredible plants alike. Marine plants are often overlooked. However, the plants in this video are some of the most unique and interesting marine species on Earth. Kelp is one of the most well-known marine plants. However, this remarkable species has some tricks up its sleeve. Kelp is extremely fast growing and some argue that they are perhaps the fastest growing of all species. Found in cool tropical water, they are usually a brownish green in colour. Kelp forms into vast underwater rainforests that house a wide variety of other plants and animals, including crabs, octopi, sharks and more. Phytoplankton are microscopic marine algae that require sunlight to live. They grow into two distinct categories, dinoflagellates and diatoms. They act as the base of the marine food web and are vital to the saltwater and freshwater ecosystems. A plethora of species from zooplankton to whales feed on this vital food source. However, it's not all smiles, as certain species of phytoplankton produce biotoxins, which are associated with red tides. Red tides are toxic algal blooms that form, damaging marine life around them. Surf grass is an important part of the marine ecosystem. It is so vital in fact that it provides habitat and food for nearly 70% of all sea life. Surf grass is a type of grass that exists in the waters around or below the low tide line. The plant is native to the western North American coast all the way from Alaska to Baja. It can grow at both the surface and underneath the water. The water will plant is a deceptive and tricky customer. Despite looking fairly innocuous, the Aldrovana vesiculosa is actually a species of aquatic Venus flytrap. It feeds on invertebrates and floats without roots through the marine environment. However, this formidable plant population has been dwindling in recent years and has become extremely rare. Small populations can be found from Asia to Africa to Europe and there are thought to be some invasive species in the United States. The sea anemone is a weird predatory creature. Despite actually being an animal, they are named after the terrestrial flowering plant of the same name due to their very similar appearance. Living in soft sandy areas of the ocean floor and occasionally near the surface of the water, it uses its poisonous stingers to hunt its prey. These mind-boggling creatures can reach up to six feet in diameter. Seagrass might not be the most exciting in appearance, they are incredibly vital to the marine ecosystem. This underwater flowering plant survives on sunlight and in the process of photosynthesis, they absorb around 15% of the carbon dioxide in the Earth's ocean. 60 species of seagrass are currently known. And they take up large areas of the ocean floor. They have even been described as forming meadows or grasslands, which consequently create homes and habitats for a vast number of species from fish to algae. Neptune grass are a long living plant species. The oldest colony of Neptune grass found was around 100,000 years old, which was found around the island of Ibiza. The Posidonia oceanica, also known as Mediterranean tapeweed, like its namesake, is endemic to the Mediterranean Sea. It creates large underwater meadows that exist at depths between 1 to 35 metres. It grows in clear waters, but also is suffering from increases in pollution. Mangroves are well-known but fascinating plants. Although they are found on the borders of land and sea, they have adapted remarkably and have developed a filtration system that helps them get rid of harmful sea salt. This adaptation speaks to the plant's exceptional ability to survive in challenging conditions, making it incredibly durable. However, despite their durability, human activities have been putting pressure on their population. They provide a great habitat for nursery fish due to their roots, so it is vital that they remain in our waters. Red algae is an unusual looking plant. Their pigment absorbs blue light and reflects red, with other species appearing green or blue depending on their level of cytoferritin, a chemical that dictates their colour representation. Among the oldest groups of eukaryotic algae in the world, the plant has been around for more than 500 million years. Of the 6,000 different species, only 5% of them are found in fresh water, with the rest occupying ocean habitats. They have been used extensively in medicine for many different applications. Sargassum is a floating marine plant species, also known as gulfweed and sea holly. Sargassum tends to be brown or green in colour, it floats on the surface of the ocean using its bladders in conjunction with its dense and bushy structure. They are known to form large floating masses and are distributed throughout temperate and tropical waters. There is even an area of ocean that contains over 2 million square miles of sargassum. The abundant plant is sometimes used as a herbal remedy in medicine. Explore more about the ocean at oceaninfo.com